Yo, it's Drew back with another video, guys. Yes, it's been like four months. I'm sorry. I had to work on myself. Today, I'm going to show you guys my RPCS3 settings and how I get Skate 3 to run on my laptop. Because for all you guys that don't know, I play my games on my laptop. I have a MacBook. Skate 3 does lag on my laptop. I can't lie, it still lags a little bit. Like when I go to like really crowded areas, I, I notice a slowdown, but at least it's not all the time. I'm still messing around with all my settings, but these are the settings that worked out best for me. So we're going to start off with the PPU decoder. You're going to use recompiler LLVM and then SPU decoder, recompiler LLVM, and then SPU flow accuracy. Keep that on approximate exploit. Additional settings, turn on, enable SPU loop detection. Keep this on safe. SPU block size, preferred SPU threads. Now this option could be two for you, but it didn't work for me. So I chose three and the slowdown stopped for me. Now onto the GPU tab. This is where most of the, the use comes from. This is where like everything will start lagging a lot more if you mess with some of the settings. We're gonna start off with renderer. Put this to Vulkan. OpenGL, it's okay, but Vulkan's better. AMD radio, that's my graphics card yours might be different from mine aspect ratio 16.9 frame limit you can put this on 60 I was just messing around with the settings and it's a trophic filter you can put this on auto or 16 I just keep it on 16 because I, I feel like it's less work on the on a GPU. Anti-aliasing disabled. The Z call should be changed from precise to relaxed. Default resolution. I keep this on the recommended resolution, which is 1280 by 720. The resolution scale should be at 100%. I really don't care how how my game looks compared to how I would prefer it to look. I would rather go with the least amount of performance possible. This is the only game on my laptop. On God, it's the only game that lags. I don't know why. I mean, it is a complex emulator, so I see why it happens. Resolution scale threshold should be at 16 by 16. Don't change this. Upscaling. Now, if you want to upscale, you can upscale. Turn this on and then mess around with this meter right here while the game is on. And just keep clicking apply, apply, and see what you like. This is more for like a, a sharper look. Shader mode, async, number of shader threads. It should be at auto. I mean, for me, it's auto. But for you, it would be like 12 or 16 or something like that. I have 12 threads, so I would put it at 12, but nah. Additional settings. I don't have anything in here 
enabled unless it's stretched to display area and then we're gonna go to audio tab the x audio 2 is the audio out enable buffering 100 milliseconds time stretching i turn this up to 100 percent i don't know the audio always sounds chopped for me now we're gonna skip these three right here these three tabs and we're gonna go to the advanced tab now in the core area only this should be on that's a big ass word <laughs> <laughs> only this should be on sleep timers accuracy now this is a tricky one for me some people say you sleep only and all timers but as host works for me i don't know why but as host works for me maximum number of spurs should be at unlimited clock skills should be at 100 percent in the gpu area over here white def buffers is what most people will use but i don't use it Vulcan Q scheduler should be safe. RSX FIFO accuracy should be at fast. The driver wake up delay, I turn this up to 100. And it sped up my game a little bit. Now, V blank frequency, what the hell is going on right here? What was I doing last night? We're gonna turn this down to 120. 120 hertz. In the emulator settings, only these two should be on. The max LLVM compile threads. This is what I was talking about before with the 12, minus 12. So all of them. Allow a custom background. I don't even have a custom background. I don't think I do. But if I were to make one, I would turn it on. In the debug tab, some people turn this option on, some people don't. When I turn this option on, the trees start bugging out. I'll show you what this option does in game. We're gonna boot with configuration. I'm gonna speed up the loading process so things go faster. Here we go. There we go. We got 60 FPS gameplay. See, this is what happens when you disable the Z call. The only way to fix this is to go back in your settings. Custom configuration. Go back to the debug tab and turn this off if i click apply you should see everything show back up there you go and if your game runs fine like this let's go run up this hill See, everything seems fine. Even though I'm getting like 30 FPS. It's not like my game is running at slow motion. I usually just like turn it on because it's more FPS. If I don't want to see this, I would need. Here it is. Skate 3 native menu. Now I should have a mod menu. No pedestrians and no traffic while in career mode. 
online speed so I get that that extra speed up. Clean replays. Turn that on. Mute environment. Brightness down to like five or four. High FPS mode. This is the big, big impact on your performance. Turn this on and as you can see the change in the background now guys this is pretty much what i would use also fog color i'll change this to like either white or black and that's pretty much it My game's running at 60 FPS. Do you like the Jimmy Neutron save? Whoa, check it out. Neutron has the moves. Well, how about next time you get a board that can handle the Neutron style? Later, Nick. If you like these settings, and if these settings work for you, then keep them. Do it. If your game is slowing down, having little lag spikes, try my settings. The sound still sounds a little bit off, but it's better than what it used to sound like. Like crackling every time I walk. The save is going to be in the description below. And a link to the mod server is going to be in the description below. In that mod server is where you will find the, the native menu. All you have to do for the native menu is uh, just turn it on by pressing enter and you hold R3 and then left D-pad and it'll bring up the menu. Well, all right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you've seen a difference in your gameplay and I hope you like this video. Drew the King, you already know. Not for real though, if I did help, let me know in the comments below because I always love feedback. So yeah, guys, peace.